wow, that was fast. Hey guys, it's May May. <laughs> like I barely pushed the button and it went live. It was waiting on me. So I know you did not expect me, but I need a paper break. <laughs> this paper came in a few days ago and it has been like killing me. It's, it's been, what is it? Burning a hole in my, in my brain. As like my kids used to get money for their birthdays and they would say that the money would burn a hole in their pocket. You have to see this paper, okay? A subscriber emailed me probably a month and a half ago um, and told me I needed to check out Mente papers. I'd never seen them before, had never heard of them. Thank you so much for telling me about this paper. I have never seen paper this gorgeous in my life. Now I was nervous because I have not ever purchased their paper before. And Vince was like, you wanna say what you were like? <laughs> are you sure? Hear me though. They might can, cause the way I had the phone today. Okay. You were like, are you sure? I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty large investment for something we'd never seen or put our hands on before. And I was like, I read all the, I read reviews online. I read what the paper is. Now here's the thing. They are a Polish company. It's right, right? Polish. Yes. They're Poland, from Poland. And the paper is, I can't eat, I have to show you, okay? So it's called Mente, and these are available in two minutes on the website. They may even be a little quicker than that, but Taylor's turned them on um, like in two minutes, and I wanted to show you these. But here's what I wanna tell you real quick, okay? We are still finishing up the sale orders, and we're also shipping out class kits at the same time. So I have to show you these because they're gonna be live on the website. And if you order them, I just want you to be aware It'll probably be Monday or maybe Tuesday before they ship to you. But I'm telling you, you just want to get them. Like you just want to have these on the way to you because they're incredible. So they're six by six and 12 by 12. Oh, and even better, something else. I'm going to start with the something else because I am in love with these. So these are, um, what do they call? They call them fussy cutting books. Now I've told y'all a thousand times how much I love to fussy cut. And when I saw this, I was like, this was made for me. These books are made, do we have the, no, this is, okay, this is called Flora Book 2. So I want you to see this. These are made for you to fussy cut. And I know some of you guys are like not fussy cutting fans, but I'm going to do a video coming up in the very near future. It's been on my brain for so long and it's going to be called um, Stop Being Afraid of Your Scissors. This is the video that's coming and I'm going to show y'all some tips and tricks for using your scissors. And I'm so glad this came in because now this is what I'm going to be using. Do you see how incredible? Now, if you have a brother scan and cut, you should be able to, I have not tested it, but I will, lay this on your scan and cut and cut these images out with your scan and cut. And you can set an offset. You see what I'm saying? Yes. These images are incredible and they are made for you to use. How many times do you want more stickers? And I know nobody likes to fussy cut, not, it, not nobody. I will say that's not true because a lot of times when I say, I know you don't like to fussy cut, in the comments, a lot of people correct me and say, yes, we do, because they're like me. This is one of those things I would just sit down in front of the TV and start cutting. And the cool thing about these is you get, let me tell you what all comes in here. Do you the, think those would fussy cut? I mean, would cut in the uh, brother's cutting, scanning cut, whatever that thing's called? He wasn't here, was he? Oh. God love you. You were you reading comments. I did. Comment. <laughs> you are reading comments. Yes, I do think this would work in the scanning cut. I will try it but I do think it will. Now here's what you get in this paper pad. It's a six by eight paper pad with elements for fussy cutting. It is 240 GSM, okay? So from what I can tell, that's about like 65 pound US from what I can tell. Um, and this paper pad contains 24 double-sided sheets. Now you're gonna think they're double-sided, but look, that you're not losing images. They are double-sided, but they have a like a beautiful like linen weave pattern on the back in this book particular. Y'all just wait a second, because y'all think that's something. Hold on. Let me tell you who's freaking out about this book. Who y'all think it is? Brenda Berry. She, she wants one of everything I'm showing you today. We've already pulled it for her. Look at this. These are birds on this page. Let me show you something else, too. Look, they don't even waste the cover. The cover is wood grain. Look at that. It was 240. 240 GSM. This is a uh, European or a, is it European? 244 is 65 pounds. Right. These are so, about 244. Yeah. That's about what you're, I mean, about six, 65, 65 pounds. Pound. Um, they are not textured. So if you're going to compare this to like Echo Park, no, to Cartabella, they're not textured like Cartabella. Okay. So it don't feel like that. They're beautiful. They're incredible. Look at the birds. 
Look at the birds. Look at the butterflies. I mean, you know how we let the paper do the work and how we've been using, look at these, this is oh, so gorgeous. How we've been using stickers to make the cards with our big sentiment stamps. These are perfect. And I mean, bright and vivid and gorgeous. Just look. So that one is called Wing Book. This one is probably gonna be my favorite. This one is called the Tag Book. I, it's like they got in my brain. Look, the back cover has a pattern on it, but look, all these tags you can cut out, so gorgeous. Oh, we don't have their little thank you card, do we? I was gonna show them how they printed on it and it was beautiful. We need to, we'll grab that. So look, tags, tags, tags. They're just gorgeous, y'all. I mean, you could put, you could cut most of these out with your paper trimmer, even if you were scared of scissors. You're, gonna, you're not gonna be scared of scissors anymore because I'm gonna fix that for you. I don't want you to be scared of scissors. So they're incredible and they repeat. So you have a bunch of those. That's the tag book. Gosh, just gorgeous. This, did we already do the wing book? Yeah, we already did the wing book. So we have three different of those. Wait, no, we should have one more. Or maybe it didn't come in this order. Yeah, I think these were the only three. The only three, okay. Because they also have a frames book, but that is coming. I think that one was a new release that wasn't released yet. Incredible. Also, look, they come in this like glue bound pad. So beautiful. So there is those big ones. Let's do, let's get, I can't show this one. No. You're gonna say, do they have Christmas? Yes, they have Christmas, but we're not releasing Christmas yet. But I'm gonna tell y'all something, be watching, because the Mente Christmas paper is the prettiest thing you've ever, ever, ever laid your eyes on. Are they loving this? And they haven't even seen anything yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, this one is called Day by Day. Now, this is the six by six for this pad, for the 12 by 12. We're gonna look at the 12 by 12 first. Y'all are going to freak out. Let me get it open. I should have opened these so you don't have to listen to the plastic. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, it smells so good. This paper smells so nice, too. Like, me and Taylor were talking about how good it smells. All right, you ready? They don't waste the back of the cover because, look, you got cut up. These are, these are cutouts. These are fussy cutting pieces, okay? Look at that page. Oh, my gosh. It's so gorgeous. Look at this paper, y'all. Have you ever, ever laid your eyes on something like this? This makes me want to scrapbook real bad. I mean, look at that. It's like, you just can't imagine. I don't even know who comes up with this, but look how stunning this paper is. I just want to frame them and hang them on the wall. Look at that one. Just, oh, it, it, yeah. Am I showing you all the back? I don't think I showed you the back of this one. Like this distress. Look at that distressed tile. Look at this floral. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Have y'all, what are they saying? I can't read comments. I want to know. Uh, let's see. I've been posting links and haven't read any comments. Oh. oh. Look, that one. Stunning jaw on the floor. Literally how I would describe it. Paper is the bomb. Paper jaw is beautiful. on the My floor. problem is I wouldn't want to cover it up. Y'all, I cannot wait. Let me tell something. This will make the most beautiful mini albums and the most beautiful homemade planners. Make a planner, oh my gosh, where's Mandy? I need to call Mandy, don't I? <laughs> Look at this, just the prettiest stuff I've ever seen. You're killing me, I should be on my way to Bible study. I can't leave. It's incredible, don't worry, I'll leave this up. Now these are repeats, so I'm only gonna do those because you get two of each one, but I cannot get over it. I cannot get over it. Look at this, this is the six by six. Look. I can't get over it. When I saw it, and y'all, y'all, I didn't buy one of everything. I had to pick. I had to, you know, pace myself. Lisa said many of Where's Lisa? Here I come. Lisa. This is up her alley. They are perfect. That, that pad in particular is very Lisa. Yes. It's called Day by Day. Now, let me show y'all this one that's called, y'all gonna love this one. This one is called yes. Farm Life. This is the six by six of the Farm Life. We'll look at it too in a second. Let me open this one up. And I have, I have one more I can show. I'm not showing y'all the Christmas one. Um, I... The 12 by 12 for $14.99. Six by sixes are $6.99. And the six by eights are $8.99. And affordable. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. I know some paper packs that are beautiful like this that go for a premium. Worth it. I mean, you get beautiful paper in those premium price packs. But how they can do these so affordable, I don't know. 
incredible. Okay, this one's called Farm Life. Let's look at the back. Look how beautiful. Just look at that. Gosh, I mean, mini albums for days. Look at this. And this is the year everybody's been planting in their garden. You've got to do a mini album for your garden or for someone who's done a garden. Look at the chicken wire. And everything's so washed. And the paper itself is not distressed. It just has the feel of it in places. And here's what I love. And you'll see this in the Christmas pack too, which you're not seeing today. I'm not showing you today. That is a geese, a goose. Mm -hmm. That's a chicken. I love they put them together. So you know what I'm saying? They didn't go, no, a chicken can only have chicks. Also, I love this. And this is just me. That's the biggest bee compared to that chicken and that goose. But I don't care. I love it. I think it is so beautiful. Look at that bee. Just incredible. Look at that red chick. Here again, you got the goose and the chicken and the big old bee. There's a butterfly. Look at that up there. I mean, the hard part's going to be deciding what's the cover of your album. Look at this white. Also, if you are a card maker and you take pictures of your cards, remember how I told y'all to get the one before that was the wood grain background and everybody got it and use it and it's great? This is another great one for backgrounds. Can you imagine making a card in this color scheme and laying it on this? Beautiful. Instant photo backdrop. Just gorgeous. And then look at this floral. I can't get over it. And when it showed up, like I said, it's been here a couple days, but we haven't had a second. And today I was just like, I need a paper break. Look at that cow. I don't, I don't even have to like point everything out. This paper, it sells itself, y'all. Like, even to me. I remember when I opened the website, because I got the email and I opened the website and I was in my office and I went, oh my. And you remember y'all went, what is it? And I said, this paper line. And Vince was like, what paper line? I said, it's one a subscriber just told me about, uh, yes. And he was like, oh no. <laughs> what y'all think? They're loving it. I, I'm telling you, you can't, you can't not love it. This is the six by six. I even love that in the six by six, they give you those little cut aparts. Because how many times do you make like box cards and need small things to put in your box card or make step cards and need something to do the steps with and you don't want massive images? It's perfect for that. Several people ask if you smelled it yet. A hundred times. Yeah. It smells, this one smells like a, not like a library, but like a library, doesn't it? Yeah. It reminds me of crisp linen or crisp paper. Um, I just, I love it. Matter of fact, I was walking through the hallway and Taylor had it on the table as she was counting it in. And I'm like, I love the smell of paper. And she's like, you know, I'm starting to love it myself. It's Mente. Mente. It's called, it's Mente by Corolla. It's for passionate paper crafters. It is. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. We are loving it. I mean, you get four sheets of each. Look at that. This wood grain. That's awesome. Anyway, there's your, there's your six by six. All right, we got one more to show you today. And I am going to make you wait on Christmas because I'm going to have to because I'm afraid this is going to be frenzied enough. Don't you think? Trent said you could fastly show them the Christmas. Fastly. Why do I let Trent influence me? Don't show it to him. Do <laughs> You're mean. Show the Christmas. I'll I fastly show it. The Christmas. I'll, say the I'll show this. It's not for sale yet, y'all. We're not putting it for sale yet. It's coming. I'll show you this. Look at that. Five, four, four three, three, two. Bye. One. It's not for sale yet. The Christmas is not. This one, I can't even, y'all. I can't even. It's called Cozy Evening. Is Lisa still here? She's fixing a freak about this one. Lisa, do we need to just be pulling these for a pickup order already? <laughs> she might be buying them. She might be. <laughs> okay. This one is called Cozy Evening. I'm not kidding when I tell y'all to brace yourself for the cuteness. I'm not joking. Look at this. Does anybody see this puppy right here? Don't you want to own that puppy? Look how kind he is. His little kind face. Look at him here. Maybe this is his brother. Jesus, help me, please. <laughs> Look at this deer. And this ain't even the cutest part. Look at that squirrel. The only problem. Look at that macrame. Is, it is not correct. Because of those antlers. The, it's a fawn with big old antlers. Look at the cozy now, that could not be a white-tailed deer. It could be an axis deer because sometimes. Well, can I say this is Polish? So is that a deer they it would might, see in yeah, Poland? They probably wouldn't have a white tail. Okay, question. What's this called? 
like a drip. It's just a drip coffee maker. But who would think to put that in there? Perfect. I don't know who the designer is. I would love to speak to them and say, your brain is beautiful. Look at this. You, you pointed out the cozy blankets. The macrame is so beautiful. Y'all, this is just the cut, the cut aparts. Look, here's what I love. They stuck that little puppy inside the cozy blanket with the little um, stove and the coffee pot on top. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. Look at this one. Look at this. I can see this with a photo. Like, I can see this where you took like a large family photo and like cut around the family members, like fussy cut around them and put them here like they're standing in front of this door. Like I can just picture that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. If you have one, I would love to try it. And look at this, the squirrel with the bird, just living there like they love each other. And I love that. Cause this wouldn't happen in my yard. Also, I love that this is one of those squirrels with the little long, not like our squirrels. It has the long ears. Some of us in the US may have those. Look at this. How masculine is that? If you need masculine paper. Oh my goodness. Look at these two together. That kind of weathered leather. It's not really leather. It's kind of weathered paper. And then that floral. I told y'all, you're not ready for this. I think I said it in the, no, I said you have to see this paper seriously. I just cannot get over it. Here's these cut aparts. Can you see, y'all, I've got a Christmas in July project coming up and I think I'm using this paper pack for one of them that is a stationary gift box. <laughs> and I can just see making somebody a set of stationary using this paper and them just going, wow, you know? Colorado Creating wants me to hug you. She's so excited. <laughs> Listen, the minute, I'm not kidding. I was, I didn't even tell y'all. I got an email. I signed into the website and um, I literally went, oh my. I remember that. What you said. Uh -huh. And y'all both went, what? what? And I'm like, this I paper went, line. Hurt. I went, this, this paper oh. line is incredible. I had to do my research though and I had to make sure it was good. And it is. It's a nice thick paper. It's very slicky, which I like. It's very professional feeling. It's absolutely, oh, and also, did I point out the light colored pumpkins? This makes me want to make six by six cards. I mean, I've never really been a fan of a six by six card because of the envelope situation. This makes me want to make six by six. You agree? Yeah. Because I just want that to be the whole front of a card. It's perfect. Trim off a little bit, mat it in. It's a card. Okay. Put a sentiment on it. It's perfect. Look at those little cut apart. Anyway, I just had to show y'all this because it was more than we could take. It was more than we could take. <laughs> Kristen Brunner said, so I just had to order all three six by eights, all three six by sixes, and the 12 by 12s of this one. Hello, my name is Kristen and I have an addiction. I'm with you, Kristen. Yeah. My name is May May and I have a paper addiction. Did anybody pick these up? Or are you gonna pick these up? Cause I'm telling y'all, Stop being afraid of your scissors. And here's what I mean by that. We put so much pressure on ourselves to cut things out perfectly. No one will ever notice you didn't cut anything out perfectly. I want to show y'all. Um, are you willing to walk in there and get something? Yeah. Remember Brenda's Christmas hexagon she did? It's on the front table with all the cards and the um, Nouveau drops. It's on the white three-tiered rectangle table. I want to show y'all something Brenda did, and she won't mind me showing you this because she is not a perfectionist when it comes to cutting. And I want to show you how good it looks when you just stop fretting about it. And that's why these will become your best friend where you're like, I need something in that spot. You know what I'm saying? Or I just need a bird here. Or I want to put a bird on a, a like you have a tree stamp and you want to put a bird on it. Done. I just love these cut aparts. And I want it, like I said, there's a frame one. That's coming. If you're asking questions, I can't see them. I don't have my glasses. Let me, well, I could put them on. They're on my head. Let's see. See? There you go. People love the fussy cut. I love the fussy cut. Oh, thanks, Judy. I, can, I just can't get over this paper. I couldn't, let me tell y'all something. I couldn't even show y'all this paper on my, on my cutting mat. My cutting mat doesn't do it justice. I literally did it here because yeah. I wanted this background. Yeah. Let me show y'all something. Now, this is not with this paper line, but this is something Brenda made last year. And it's actually not complete because we were going to, we haven't yet, but we're going to put acetate over this and put snow in the bottom. And this is just a paper mache hexagon. And I want to show you, okay, here's a good example. So she cut this out by hand from the paper, from a paper pack. And it is not perfect. 
it it's not like this comes out further than this and blah 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 but no one cares it we put so much pressure on ourselves and look these are not perfectly cut these were busy pieces of paper you see this santa you would have thought you couldn't cut that out because he kind of blended into the background but she just cut right around him and she's not afraid to do it and it looks gorgeous see those deer antlers he doesn't even have his whole set of antlers he only has half of them but you didn't notice it till i pointed it out does it smell good? Yes, it does. It smells crisp and clean. This, um, do y'all love, isn't this gorgeous? She even did this and hung these little bells down, the little rusty bells. Um, and I have a project for Christmas in July very similar to this, but um, not really larger, but it's three pieces. And it's going to be a lot like this, and I can't decide which paper to use, but I bet it's going to be one of these. Or maybe not. I don't know for sure because we have other Christmas paper coming. But I just want to show y'all, don't fret about your cutting. What paper pack was this, I wonder? Probably, did we do a bright and joyful? No. Oh, back here. She didn't even cut out the poinsettia completely. Do you see she cut around it, kind of bubble cut it, just blah, 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 and stuck it down? And no one judges your fussy cutting. Look. No one judges it. Has anybody been to the shop and seen this one in person? I promise you, you did not notice any of those mistakes. Not mistakes. Any of those less than perfect. I'm trying to see if there's more. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all that. And it's so gorgeous. Look at that. Sitting on a mantle or on a bookshelf. Perfect. It will be so pretty when we put the snow in it. We just haven't done the acetate yet. I've got to get 12 by 12 acetate to cover this, and I haven't done it. But we wanted to put snow. This was going to be like a snow globe. It's going to be like a hexagon snow globe kind of thing. Anyway, that's it. I had to show you all. Um, we needed a break from Made It Con. <laughs> Woo, we are literally yeah. packing boxes in our sleep. <laughs> But we're trying to help the boys, but I don't want them to have to do it. So we're doing it. And they're getting triple checked. So they get checked as they're packed. They get checked as we pack them. And then they get checked again as we fulfill them. So um, we're working real hard. Let me see if I can see some comments now that I'm not looking paper. Perfectly imperfect. The cozy evening is incredible. Now remember, I want to remind you, these may not ship until Monday or Tuesday. But just know, you've got them. That's what you need to know. And... I hope, I know that Vince is this way. If these, if these are popular, he will go ahead and place another order because he's very impressed with their, uh, so far he's been extremely impressed with this company. We don't know anybody there yet. I'm sure we'll make a relationship with him, but he's, he's been really impressed because he's like, they answer emails super fast. They ship super fast. Like, and, and this is Polish, right? It's just, it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, yes, I have. Somebody said, have I seen Marry Me? I have seen it. I had to get a selection I thought would be generic enough for everybody to start with, and then I'm going to go back and get those other papers. And some, I'll tell you, were not available yet. Some, they're having a um, another run done. Oh, did they say July or 1st of August? Seems like there's some that aren't coming back until, like, 1st of August for us to get. So, it's incredible. It's incredible. The paperweight, Trent, is 240 GSM, which is just about 65 pounds. Um, in the U.S. <laughs> Jean, that's a bad time to make that promise. <laughs> yeah. I agree, Jackie. It's some of the uh, most beautiful paper I've ever seen. The florin length, is, you could maybe say it was tags. Or, or Which one? paper. The florin and wings. The wing book. There isn't. This is tags. Oh. Is that well, what they're no, asking? I think she was saying she told her husband she wouldn't buy any more papers. So you oh, could say they're, well, I they're see what you're like, saying. Now that's apart. true. These are not technically, but we can't help you do that. <laughs> we can't help. Barb, listen, your people have an eye for design. <laughs> she said she's <laughs> proud to be Polish. They have an eye for design. Um, I think you'll see. I think you'll see. He'll have this ordered again by Monday. Like, look, <laughs> people are not helping her. The shipping on this to us was very quickly from them. Yes. In the U.S., we could get it in three to five days. Yeah. And in other parts, I don't know how they do it. I said, and in Australia, they could get it in five to seven days. It's crazy. Not from us. Shipped to us. Yeah. So, um, they're just incredible. Just incredible. I think the reason, I'm, I'm guessing this, I think they have a U.S. fulfillment company. It only makes sense that they probably do. So they probably send to the U.S. and then the U.S. sends out. But, gosh, I mean, I've never. Beautiful. I've never. And 
I'm gonna try to get him to get every line and just keep it. See, that's what I love about it. This is the kind of paper that you can use over and over and over again. Cause listen, I'm not gonna get tired of this paper. I'm gonna have a project after project after project for these papers. Uh, Jean wants to know if you can um, show the tag book again. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of my favorites. The tag book is awesome. Yeah. Cause it covers so many. And I can see this tag book being layered Okay, so like, let me show you. Like, if you took this tag and you cut it out, and then you poked a hole, and then say you could cut this one out and poked a hole, and layered them. You know how um, yes. Amber layered her tag? It was laying right here. It, no, yeah, it's right there. See that little red string? Like, I can see you layering this one. So look, isn't this cool? And I think if you did that here, like with this one and this one and layered it, or this one and this one, or this one and this one. I just think that'd be beautiful. And I love how they all match. But isn't that a good idea to layer that up? I know, day by day. is Taylor love day by day. I love these. Look at the beautiful light. And here's another thing. Um, pastel tags went, oh, here's another thing. Let me tell you this. You know what else I love about it? They did not put a dark color on the back. So we can stamp to and from. We can use our stamps. With, oh, that's what I wanted to show. Is Taylor gone? Message Taylor and see if she can bring us the thank you card they sent because it's incredible. It's not really a thank you card. Um, that's what I was thinking. I think a lot of these like this is just a great background and you could stamp it. Um, can you imagine it with your thank you sentiments or things like that? And the other side is perfect for you to stamp on because, you know, sometimes we'll cut a piece out of a paper pack and have the pattern on the back doesn't let us stamp on it. So I just love it. I just love it. Look at the little doors and layer this on. Oh. It's, I think this would be so beautiful with the organza ribbon we have. You know the one? It's right. You don't have to get it. You don't have to get it. You don't have to get it. I was going to just talk about it, but I know as soon as I do, you'll get it. You see which one it is? There's two of them. There's the black and the cream. As soon as I say one, I want to show this. Here's why I think, is there any, there's nothing, nothing private on here. <laughs> I think the way they did this, this is a piece of their paper, okay? And they put their um, thank you card on here. Thank you so much for your order. Have a wonderful day. And I think we could treat this the same way with our stamps. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. Um, let me show you this. I think this organza ribbon, which we do carry this ribbon. I just think this would be the most beautiful ribbon on these tags. It's what I see. This, you know, isn't that gorgeous? And with this tag, like at the top, it's just perfect with it. Not just this one. This is how my room gets to be such a mess. I bring everything in here for these shows, and this Show is how to clean it up. And look, here's the black, and I even think the black works with these, because that's black font, and I think you could use it. You have that ribbon, see? See? Look, I just, I can't get enough. And imagine this. Let's say you get the floral, you get this one with the wings, and you come to the butterflies, and look, could you not mix the butterflies with this on these tags? It's just incredible. I just could I can't get over it. And listen, I've been a good girl because this came in like Monday? What is today? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. <laughs> no, it came in Friday. It came in as we were leaving Friday and we couldn't do anything but just kind of look at one pack of it. So, yes, look, this is what um, Super Clip, Miss Joan just said this. This is one Brenda did last year. It was not for public consumption. We did this for our, um, this um, hexagon couldn't ship last year. I think it could ship this year. The reason I say that is we are learning boxes. <laughs> We're getting better at boxes. And so now we would have one we could ship this in, but we weren't able to ship it last year. But it's a um, paper mache hexagon that you decorate yourself. And I was showing that she did this last year with paper and just cut it out. And I just think these hexagons are cool because you can stack them. And they look really cool too. But you may see those on the website in July. You may see those. I have a lot of stuff coming in July. And it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Y'all want one more sneak peek of Christmas? Somebody said they wanted to see it, but I'm just going to sneak it. That's all you can see. I'm not going to open the whole thing. Again, Christmas is not available on the website yet. Christmas, we're holding Christmas paper until I'm ready to do Christmas projects. But the reason for that is because if I don't, I'm going to show the project and the paper won't be available. And so I want to be able to show the project and the paper at the same time, or at least close to that. Gorgeous, huh? All right, that's it. The new Mente papers. I wanted, I had to spend a minute showing y'all this. We, we interrupted Made It Con to show y'all this. <laughs> 
Um, they do stickers, and we have those coming. It's from what I can understand with the stickers, and they they could probably correct me. The newer, like these may be last year's packs. You know, I know the Christmas one is because Christmas doesn't release until the end of July from them. They're new stuff, but the newer packs I think come with stickers. The older packs come with cut apart. So I have those on. I have those ready to order as well. So we're going to be look. We're going to be all about the mente. And he got a lot of this, okay? He got a lot of this. Because um, he's learning that y'all go crazy like I do. See, that's what I had to get him to understand. He thinks I'm the only person in the world that acts like this over paper. But y'all are starting to tell him otherwise. And we appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> let him know. Let him know. All right, guys. We're going to run. It's 4 o'clock. It's time for us to go home today and come back and start tomorrow all over. We are doing a lot. We're, we're back to film to normal tomorrow. I say normal. We're back to our schedule tomorrow. So we'll see you at noon for a crafter show. And after that, we'll do a crafter after show. And I wanted to spend some time on this, which is another reason I didn't save it for the after show. Um, and Vince also said when we put it in the after show, sometimes everybody doesn't see it. And then when I start using it, they feel bad. Um, so um, that's why this got its own show, its own moment. But we do have some stuff to show y'all tomorrow. I think we do. I feel like we do. We might be showing Christmas paper tomorrow because I'll be ready to start. Yes, because Saturday's my first um, Christmas. I'm sorry, y'all. We are all about Made It Con, so I'm having to remember what, even what day it is. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I think Saturday starts my first Christmas project, so y'all may see Christmas paper in the after show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you a question, and I always like to do what y'all want. Would you prefer that I do Christmas paper in a, sec in a separate live like this also? I've learned that a lot of you guys enjoy this almost more than having to go find it in the after show. So I might could show you in both of them. So I know, Bug, I literally cannot tell you what day it is. It, we are on such a deadline for Friday that I literally cannot tell you what day it is. Okay, so y'all do like yes, this. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Just yes, know, yes. I want to tell y'all something. First off, oh, something new I need to ask you to do for me. You guys are my OGs. Y'all know I need this. The new YouTube algorithm is loving comments as well as thumbs up. So if y'all don't mind, if you like this video, I'm not asking you to like something you don't like. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you also would just comment something like beautiful paper or, you know, something that you, something in the comment section. But just know if these videos get a lot of thumbs down, sometimes they do because people don't like that they feel like I'm just selling stuff. I totally get that. I totally do. But no one's going to dislike this paper. <laughs> so... All right, guys, we're going to head out. Thank y'all so much for being here. And um, we'll see you tomorrow on our, we'll be back to regular scheduling. All right, talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot. I hope this lets me end. All right, I love y'all. Bye.